Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The One Motorhome. This is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout, the perfect design, and basically the perfect motorhome for you. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you around this 2019 Bursner. Uh, the model is an IXEO Time T680G. Lovely motorhome, huge electric drop down bed inside which I'll show you later on in the video so do wait to see that. This one is massive and it's actually fantastic the way it comes down over the lounge area. Uh, this particular van's a 2.3 turbo diesel, 150 brake horsepower on a Fiat chassis. Lots I'm going to show you on the outside of this beauty uh, but wait till we get inside and check out in there. So as usual we'll start off on the front of the vehicle, as I mentioned this one's on a Fiat Ducato chassis, big burst and a badge on the front, as you guys probably already know, German built so known for its quality. Does have the 16 inch alloy wheels which really finish the vehicle off nicely and check out the graphics all the way along the side here, they look fantastic. Now this one has actually got an external shower point, so this is where you plug in a shower head with a hose and that will run hot and cold water. Obviously inside here is where you plug into your electricity, so when you're at home or on the campsite. And check this out, look at the garage on this. It's absolutely huge. Now you can push this up out of the way, so if you want really tall things can go in there, but you've got plenty of space in there to keep your bikes and all that sort of stuff. Obviously the carpets and everything are all rolled up in there at the moment, but they would be down in the habitation and they do look fantastic. Now the garage, this side of the garage, is actually 57 centimetres wide by 175 centimetres high. This one has had the tow bar added to it, so it's got a tow bar if you wanted to tow things. And then just up top there, it's got a reversing camera as well. Massive burst of sign on the back and the lights look fantastic on this one as well. On the other side, this is the other entrance to the garage. Uh, slightly smaller entrance, but this one is 60 centimetres by 105 centimetres, so not small by any means. Just down here, that's where the toilet cassette lives, and this one has actually had a SOG system added to it, so that gets rid of any, any unwanted smells in the toilet, basically blows it up out a little chimney on the roof. Up on the top here, just along there, you can see it's got a massive awning. That's a four metre Chule awning. And they've got an extra wide habitation door on these as well. This awning has got an LED light that runs all the way along it as well. So that really keeps that area illuminated of an evening. But let's just close this up so I can show you inside here. This is where you store your gas bottles. And to me, it looks like you can keep two 11 kilograms in there. So plenty of gas if you're going to be going on long trips. Um, and it's also got an external barbecue point on the side there as well. But look at how beautiful this motorhome is. But wait till we get inside. That's where the magic happens. So let's go in and have a look, shall we? Here we go then, guys. We're going in. <laughs> um, just before we go in, I just want to say a big thank you to Choose Leisure Motorhomes in Canterbury for obviously letting me demonstrate this beautiful thing. So a big thumbs up to Canterbury uh, and to Choose Leisure Limited. As I mentioned, really nice size habitation door, so really wide entrance for gaining entrance to it. Just down here we've got a little bin, and you've also got privacy blinds on the habitation door. Habitation door's got central locking, and also it's got, let's see if we can open it, there we go. It's got a fly screen as well, so that will keep those unwanted pests out. As you go into this vehicle, look at this. I mean, look at the quality of this. It looks amazing and obviously is very, very well built. This area here is a very, very, very nice uh, dining area. You can sit lots of people all around here, um, having your dinner, playing cards, having a drink, friends, guests, family, whatever it might be. And also you've got two extra traveling seat belts just here as well. So you can actually travel with four people in this. So you've got four traveling seats. Up front, in the cab, let's have a look in here. So, Fiat Ducato chassis, and obviously Fiat Ducato cab. Uh, automatic gearbox, it's got cruise control. Obviously, we've got a touchscreen stereo in here as well, which is an upgraded stereo. Down below, you've got some cup holders, and you've got air conditioning, climate control, all that sort of stuff. One thing I quite like on these Fiat Ducatos is this little bit here. You can pull that up, 
open it out and that can either have a tablet in there or a mobile phone because um, I know a lot of people these days like to travel with their mobile phone satellite navigation because it's always up to date and obviously gives you live traffic and things like that. Captain seats in the front so they both swivel around and you've also got privacy blinds which go all the way around the cab here as well. Nice little touch, you've got these little reading lights here which you can move around and also on the other side you've got the same thing. So if you're in the front trying to read a map or a book then that is perfect. Quality is a big thing with Bursner and this one does not uh, let itself down. It's amazing. Now 2019, but this one is actually up for sale at Choose Leisure for just 74,995. Even though you've got the electric drop down bed, you've still got lots of storage up top here and you'll notice that it's all really well illuminated. Also on the other side, another storage compartment and just here is where the electric bed uh, control is, but I'll show you that in just a second. As you move around just above the habitation door, this is the control panel. So this is the main control panel which shows you your vehicle battery, leisure battery. You can turn the pump on for the water and also you've got uh, your levels for your water. So your fresh and your wastewater, you can see what level they are uh, just by a touch of the button. Round to the right hand side of the door, nice little close uh, hook so you can hang your coat there. And also you've got the controls for the awning lights, the lights for inside and LED strip lights everywhere on these. Look at that. Moving around a little bit further, this is the kitchen area. Now you've got a grill oven at the bottom there, cupboard space underneath and also a drawer above. Inside here is a big cupboard so you can store lots and lots of things in there. And I'm very impressed with how much work surface you've got in here as well. So plenty of work surface for chopping things up and leaving your chopping boards and pans and whatever you might need. Underneath here, we've got three gas burners. So you have got three gas burners and a grill and oven. And then above, we've got more storage space. Then round to the left, uh, this looks like it's a wine glass holder. So you've got like a little rolling bar, which is fantastic. Moving around the other side, you've got a big cupboard in here. So let's see if we can have a look in there. So big cupboard in there for hanging all your clothes. And there's also space beneath. And that's a nice little touch. Look at the fridge freezer on this. <laughs> um, they've got a nice kind of vinyl wrap on top of that, uh, which makes it look really cool, I have to say. Inside, fridge freezer. So fridge at the bottom, freezer box at the top. And then just to the left of that, you've got the control panel for your heating system. So that's a heating system that works from gas or electricity. Um, it's a Truma system. So that is blown air. Above the fridge, plenty of storage. And then going into the back, look at this. This door here is a sliding door. So that closes that area off very nicely. And you've got a huge mirror in the back. Hello guys, you're right. <laughs> um, to the right hand side, Lovely size shower, even got a little towel rail on the top there. Lots of space to keep in all your belongings. And that is a very nice shower actually. Um, it's almost as big as the one I have at home. Behind the mirrors, we've got, excuse my phone there by the way, behind the mirrors, we've got, look at this. Lots of storage in here, drawers. Beneath that, another drawer. And then at the other side of this, let's just open that up for you. Pop that open. Again, we've got lots of cupboard space in there. Um, little rail for hanging things. And also the previous owner of this one's put a, a big safe in there, which is very convenient. To the right hand side, again, a big mirror. So this is a lovely place for getting ready. And then just below that, we've got the electric flush toilet. So all in all, I have to say, this is one of the most spacious toilet showers uh, that I've seen. Moving round again, now this is where things get cool. Up above here, this whole area is a huge electric drop down bed. Now what you can do is you can actually lower this table down so that bed will actually come all the way down to the same level as the sofas. But just to show you how it works, back to this control panel. So press the little button, there we go coming down 
and then that's the first uh, stop. Then the backrest starts to come up, so the bed flattens itself out. So that's coming up now. Then again, down we go again, and look at this. Now that is a monstrous double bed. I'll give you the dimensions of that a little bit later on, but that bed is huge and probably gonna be one of the most comfortable beds you can get in a motorhome. So what are you thinking about this one, guys? Do you think it's fantastic? If you do, leave me a thumbs up below. Um, I've got lots and lots of demonstrations that I'm doing, but let's give you a few of the details of this vehicle. So um, just to confirm actually that this area here where I'm sitting does turn into an occasional bed. So you've got the drop down bed on the top and an occasional bed underneath. Um, this particular van's got quite a lot of extras on it. So alloy wheels, awning, cab air conditioning, cruise control, external barbecue point, external shower point, reversing camera, solar panel, and also it's got the tow bar on the back. Made by Bursner, German built company, double floored, so really nicely winterized, and the quality of this thing is exceptional. Obviously, this is a demonstration that I've done uh, at Choose Leisure Limited in Canterbury, and this is a vehicle that they have in stock now, so do get in contact with them if you're interested in this. But if you're looking for something different, then check out the channel where we've got lots of other demonstrations. Um, just below on the screen, somewhere here or somewhere here, there'll be a, be a little logo of the One Motorhome. If you click that, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions about this particular vehicle, then do leave a comment below. And also, if you want to see something different or if I'm doing something wrong, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. My name's Jonathan. This is the One Motorhome channel and I hope to see you soon.